Hey guys, it's Mac and welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video we are going to create this minimal Apple Watch advertisement design step by step in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Okay so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a square art board that I'll be working on. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a nice dark blue gradient background for our advertisement. So with the rectangle tool selected, I'm going to create a perfect square equal to the size of the artboard. Now the color of this square is not looking very good at the moment, so we are going to apply a radial gradient to this square. Open the gradient panel from here, and if the panel is missing, simply go to Windows and open the gradient panel from here. Once the panel is opened, select the square and click here to apply the gradient. Change the gradient type to radial, and click here to reverse it. Now what we can do is we can change the color of this gradient to some nice blue shades like this. Simply copy the hex code for this dark blue color, zoom out to see the canvas, select the square, and double click on this slider. Set the color mode to RGB, and then paste the hex code here to apply the blue color. Now similarly, Copy the hex code for this second blue color. Zoom out to select the square. And double click on this second slider. Once more set the color mode to RGB and paste the code here to apply this color. Now we can move this radial point of the gradient to a position around 30% just to give this gradient a nice faded look. Now our gradient background is finally complete. So the next thing we can do is we can add our brand logo at the top. I'm using this Apple Watch logo for practice purpose, but you must try to use a logo that is free to use for commercial projects. Simply drag your logo in Illustrator, align it to the center, and then scale it down quite a bit, and then adjust its position at the top just like this. Now we can go ahead and write the series to which this Apple Watch belongs. I will be using this typeface in this design which you can simply download from Google. Now with the type tool selected, I am going to write Series X because this Apple Watch is apparently a part of this latest series. Align this heading to the center of the artboard, and then from the Characters panel, adjust its tracking to a value that is suitable according to your artboard. Now decrease its size quite a bit, and then place it closer to the brand logo. Further adjust the font size and also change the font weight to bold. Now you might notice that this heading is not looking visually centered according to the logo. So what we can do is we can manually move the text a little bit towards the right, just to make sure that things are in line. Now you can see that Series X is visually aligned to the center of the logo. So now we can add our main product image in the center of our design. Download these project files from the video description and drag this Apple Watch image in your design. Align it to the center of the artboard, and then scale it down to leave a significant amount of blank space around this image. Now make sure to place this image slightly towards the bottom instead of the center. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water ripples in the background of my design, just to give it a more realistic look. Drag this water ripple image in your design. And then from the layers panel, place this ripple image behind the logo and the product image. and make sure to scale it up quite a bit, just like this. Now this image is not looking very good at the moment, so what we can do is we can decrease its opacity to around 10%, or less to make sure that it's not grabbing too much attention in our design. Also, make sure that the central point of this ripple background is aligned with the central point of your product image, just to make sure that things are in line. Now you can see that this ripple effect depicts the water-resistant feature of this watch, as though the watch has been dropped into water and then retrieved. So once you are done with the image part, it's time to add our main headline. 
With the type tool selected, use the downloaded typeface and write your main headline, which is experience innovation in this case. Align this headline to the center and place it on a position like this, just above the product image, and also keep its font size to a larger value to make sure that it gets the viewer's attention. So once you're done with the main headline, you can add some extra features of the Apple Watch at the bottom of your design. Use the type tool and write some main features just like this. Place the text at the bottom and align it to the center. Now if you feel that the space at the bottom is not enough, you can scale down the image just a little bit and also move it upward to make some space for the bottom text. You can move both the headline and the image and then you will be able to adjust the text at the bottom of your advertisement. So once everything lines up nicely, create a copy of this text and write some helpful link or any website. Align it to the center of the artboard, move it to the very bottom, and also increase the tracking from the characters panel. Zoom out to see the full canvas and make sure that the padding at the bottom is similar to the padding at the top. Now the design is almost complete, but the final thing I'm going to add is this abstract wave background. You can download this pattern from any free stock website, but I will add this file in the project assets folder for you, so you can download and use it if you want. Drag this wavy pattern in your design, scale it up a little bit, and then from the layers panel, place this pattern in front of the water ripple background image. Now place this pattern to a position like this and keep adjusting its size until you are satisfied with the pattern. Now create a copy of this pattern and place it on the opposite side to give this pattern a nice continuation. Now the design is finally complete and what we can do is we can select the rectangle tool and create a square equal to the size of the artboard. Now make sure to select everything on the canvas, go to the object menu and make a clipping mask. So here is the final design, and this is how you can make a minimal Apple Watch advertisement for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to like this video, and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.